Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every single day is a train show here and today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new items that hopefully will be making you happy on your model railroad. And you know what? It's the fall here at Engineer Hall so I got some fun fall activities planned for us. So what fall activity you have for us today? Well, okay. So people are looking on things to do this fall so I know one of the big things is to go on a hayride. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. But me personally, I would rather go on an SD90 Mac ride. <laughs> Oh, oh he has a good SD90 one. SD90 Max from Athens here. Check out these guys here. I really are enjoying these. I have here the Union Pacific, and I really like the way that one looks there. And then I have a very striking Electromotive Division. This is called the Demonstrator version. And obviously, this is the one that the... Uh, look, the industry made to sell to other railroads and hopefully get them interested in getting one of these engines on their rails. Let's take a look at this Union Pacific one here in close up. And you can take a look at all the detailing that's happening in this locomotive. You have there all the warning labels. Take a look at the front there. You got that Union Pacific shield happening up there. Let's take a look up here. And then pretend you're a terrible engineer and you're on the ground. That's, that's a good that's a good one yeah, yeah, yeah so there you are so these are really cool looking diesel locomotives and they have a pretty good price too so the retail value of these sd90s are 359.98 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 287.99 so i really enjoy running these diesel locomotives and we're going to hear what they sound like right now so let's get cooking oh we forgot one more thing what Look how heavy it is. Oh my it gosh. is heavy. I've been working out, so I'm incredibly strong. The engineer hall dropped three of them. So. Oh, why are you doing like that? I'm sorry. Dang. Just being honest. Let's see what the bell sounds like. Back it up. Now arriving, the demonstrator. So that's a great looking diesel locomotive and it sounds awesome too. So uh, once again, the retail value of these diesel engines are $359.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $287.99. So if you want something a little bit different, I think that demonstrator one is really striking. But of course, I know our UP fans are also going to be interested. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these car engines pulling cars on your railroad today. So uh, what fall activities you got going on? What other fall activities? Well, you know, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people like to go like pumpkin picking or apple picking, but truthfully, I like to go hopper picking. 
Yeah, check out these hoppers from Athern here. And if you notice, my demonstrator was pulling some of these cars here. Now, these are really neat looking hopper cars here. These are Trinity covered hopper cars, and these are part of the Athern Genesis series. So they are very highly detailed. I like the etch metal walkways that I have on the top of these cars here. And I have a bunch of different road names for your consideration, with, of course, a whole bunch of different road numbers. I have a couple of other ones here that I didn't take out of the box yet here. I mean, there's just a whole bunch of great things happening with these hopper cars and if you're thinking boy i want multi-packs well guess what many of them have multi-packs too so there you go you can get multi-packs of these cars here you can get all three of them and then get a couple of extra cars here i got a whole bunch of stuff here happening from Athern genesis and i really like these cars now the neat thing let's go in for a little closer inspection so some of these are what they call prime for grime meaning that they're a little bit wettered I really like the fact that this is a prime for grind car because this is kind of like the faded version of what the real version out of the factory would look like. As you hall, take a look down there. That's the real version. And then this is faded. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So I really like the fact that a lot of these manufacturers do stuff like that to simulate things that they see on the real railroad. After all, I know a lot of us go for realism. Now, these cars literally just came in the door today, so I didn't have time to get your prices, but I'm going to tell you what they retail for. So the retail value of these cars, depending on what it is, whether it's a Prime for Grime or just a regular one, is anywhere between uh, $64.99 and $59.99. And then the multi-packs here, they sell between $162.99 and $149.99. So what you're going to do is just take 20% off of those numbers, and that is our retail price. Of course, you could always throw that onto our website, type in what you're looking for you'll see the actual price there oh let's throw in that engineer hall discount too to save a little bit of money so if you're looking for a whole bunch of hoppers to pick this season i like these Athern genesis so what else ridiculous idea do you have for this fall man what, what you got for me okay so check this out so i know a lot of people like to go on like a corn maze well what you could do is you could get the boxes that these well, things came well, in where right? are you going and well check it out you could make your own box car maze of boxes see look Man, I don't look that hard, man. Come on. Well, I mean, you need to get, like, a whole bunch of cars to make it something, but, I mean, it's something. Look, you can go the other way, too. I mean, that's something, right? Uh, you know what? It's the thought that counts, all exactly. right? Exactly. It's the thought that counts. Well, but... you know what? And one thing that I'm thinking about are these 50-foot high-cube double-plug door box cars. Ooh, I got it right the first time. Check out these cars here. Once again from Atherin here. And these are really cool looking cars here. And I know a lot of us like to go look at the foliage of the trees. Well, check out all of these colors here. I got Penn Central. I got the North Oak Southern there. I got a really cool Union Pacific there. BC Rail. Con Rail. And of course, I had my Santa Fe here, which was the first one I looked at here. Now, these are really cool looking cars here. Rather basic, but you know what? We all need some basic cars to go on our layout. And the neat thing about these cars here is they just glide on the track. They just spin. I mean, you want a nice operable car here. So I think these really do fit the bill what you're looking for here. So again, it's not the most highly detailed on like the Je uh, Genesis, Athern Genesis cars we looked at, but they're still really nice and they're very affordable cars too. The retail value of these cars is $34.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. So it's a great deal to get. We all need box cars. We all love box cars. So I really like these box cars here. I like all the different colors. So come to Yankee Dabbler and pick these for your railroad today. Oh, here you go with this picking. Yes, oh, wow. It's our fall show. Fall show. See, come okay. On. Fall. So we looked at some awesome things today, and I got another idea for great fall ideas. So right? what is it? All right, so you know Halloween's coming up, right? Right. So a lot of people like to go to a, like a haunted house type of situation. Mm -hmm. Well, I have an amazing haunted house idea for the train lovers out there. So what is it? All right, ready? So a friend will invite you over to come see his train layout. Right. And all the trains are battery powered. Oh. Like, what? Are absolutely terrifying. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it probably makes that woo woo type of sound too. Oh my god, that would just be dreadful. Oh, uh, and just imagine you think you're about to run this uh, long train and the battery dies oh, as soon as you man. pull on so it. It's, it's oh bad. my gosh. It's bad. All right. But you know what? What isn't bad are these RS11s from Rapido. Let's check out these engines here. I think you're gonna love this lineup. So I have a couple of really cool looking diesel locomotives here. Nice I green. have the Burlington Northern Engineer Hall City. Really like that one. Is that Cascade Green? I believe it is. It looks like it. Yes. Yeah. All right. Then I have the Seaboard. 
the Northern Pacific, and I really like the design of that one, but my personal favorite is the D&H. Not only is that my initials, but I love the colors. Then I have here at the Main Central, and I have a patch job here at the Main Central with the Portland Terminal. I have here the CV. And then back here, I have so many engines, I can't put them on the track. I have the New York Central. I have the Duluth, Winnipeg, and Pacific. And finally, another favorite of mine, the Nickel Plate Road. Now, if you take a look at all these engines, engine hall, you're going to notice that each one of them is different. There are no two that are exactly the same. They all have different variations on it. For example, if you take a look here at the Northern Pacific, you can see that I have the bell up here at the front, where, of course, some of the other ones don't have it here. I have different colors for these bells here or different uh, designs or vents or whatever else. I mean, look at this nickel plate road. There's like hardly anything on it because the horn's off to the side. I mean, I just love that Rapido does this stuff with their locomotives. They make them all different. They make them very specific for their uh, specific railroad. And I always love the little Easter eggs that they throw in here. So Engineer Hall, I'll let you pick today. Which one do you want to run? Oh, I like that Burlington Northern one. All right, so we're going to run that Burlington Northern, and we're going to see what's inside. All aboard. So as I said, one of my favorite things that goes into these locomotives are the little heat strays that they hide into it. But you got a couple of them that are out of this world. Check out this. I really enjoy this. So for our airplane fans... Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> All right, for our Star Trek fans... I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. <laughs> All right, here's some other sound effects. All right, let's listen to another one. That's pretty cool. I mean, imagine having this your engine going around it. it. sounded like Doctor Who. All right, let's get the real thing going here. Let's listen to the bell. Let's listen to the horn. Awesome. Let's pull her out. Alright, all aboard. And if you take a look inside the cab, you'll see the controls are actually lit up. All right, coming in, my futuristic sign-sounding engine. Hey, 
That's a cool diesel locomotive, and I love the all this all the detailing on there, all the lights, all the sounds. Repeat it does a really great job with their engines. I know you're really gonna enjoy that. Now the retail value of these engines are three thirty five, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for two seventy nine ninety nine. You see all that goes into these engines, and I guarantee if you get one of these RS elevens, you're not gonna be disappointed with the quality as well as all the special features that it has. So roll into Yankee Dabbler and get these RS elevens on your roster today. Let's do a recap of all the things that we looked at on today's fall show. As a matter of fact, you could say we're raking up the savings. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Hey, all you right, go. so what I have here is a couple of different items here. First of all, I have these 50-foot high cube double plug door box cars. Wow, I'm two for two for that. Those are really great looking cars here. And then, of course, from the Genesis line, I had these Trinity cover hoppers. And, of course, I have multi-packs as well available, as well as individuals. I had here from Atherin, again, we had here these SD90 Max, the demonstrator in the Union Pacific. And then from Repito, I had a whole slew of RS11s and various different paint schemes. I don't know. Personally, I think you need to get all of them. So come to Yankee Dab or go on our website and get one of these or all these engines or cars rolling on your layout today. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up in everything what we have discussed so far. We have over 100 of these shows uh, that we have done. As a matter of fact, Engineer Hall, guess what? I found out something very interesting. What is it? We are the number one ranked show in all of Antarctica. Oh, the penguins love us. I know. It's off the hook up there. It says, if you want to find out what all the buzz is, click that subscribe button. We're going to conclude today's RailFan video. We're going to go out to this Steamtown Scranton National Historical Site in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where we're going to be taking a look at an 060 Switcher number 26. It's actually a Baldwin Locomotive Works engine going through the yard there in Scranton, Pennsylvania. So I hope you really enjoy that. Now, if you excuse me, I thought of one more fun fall idea to do. And what is that? Oh, uh, this is great. We can know how some people like jump into a pile of leaves. Yeah. I guess what? We're going to jump into a pile of boxcars. Oh, we're going to line them up. We're going to run them together. Uh, no, we're going to do this very carefully because I don't want to break anything. Oh, can we just run it? Can we run it with the trains then? No, I want to do some crazy thing with it and now uh i also have to think of crazy things to do in winter too so oh yeah winter is coming start thinking about it all right so yeah boxcar pile woo woo